Hey everybody. So one of the things that I try to do with this channel is not just say that repair is important so you should make things more repairable. It's also trying to get the average Joe, the regular people out there, to realize why it is I love what I do, to try and get them to enjoy what I do as well. If I'm showing you how to fix something that you own, I want you to feel that little dopamine rush when at the end of a long-winded puzzle-solving session, you're able to get the fan spin and you figured out on your own why it is. I want you to feel what it's like to save three or seven hundred dollars at a point in your life when you really needed to save three or seven hundred dollars and if you're just watching along and you don't even have anything to fix i just want you to be able to get involved in the little journey when we're trying to figure out what's wrong and find it to be something that is interesting and fun the reason i do that is because i don't necessarily believe that the legal route is the fastest or the most efficient way to having repair become a part of the culture again but rather it is from getting people to find what it is we do interesting. So that when somebody who started watching this channel when they were 17, five years later, gets out of college and gets a design or engineering or marketing position at a company that produces the devices that we use, they're not going to want to make anti-repair decisions because they grew up watching this and they found it fun and they found it interesting or they were able to experience themselves the joy that comes from seeing the fan spin at the end of a 40-minute session where they were driving themselves nuts trying to figure out the cause of a problem. I believe that the laws are downstream from culture, so even if you do want the laws to change in a manner that would make it less illegal for me to share a drawing that shows where it fuses in a product, that that is going to have to come from culture and people growing up around it, making these decisions and finding what we do fun. So I find it really awesome when I see that these little seeds that we've all been planting over the past five to ten years finally start to develop themselves in a way that you can see in this presentation where at a live Microsoft event, they're talking about one of the new surfaces. I'm going to play this clip from the event, and you tell me what you think. Now I want to show you a few other changes when we say we design a product from the inside out in a product like this, which is so important. Now, we continue to focus on the purity of this design, which was critical. But we also, for our commercial customers, we wanted to add the elements of serviceability repairability, things that matter for customers. When you put people at the center, what do we need? I need to change the keyword, I need to change the screen, but you don't want to affect the beauty. You can't. All that elegance goes away. Most of the time when you make a product that's serviceable, there's lines, there's extra weight, there's extra thickness. You can, you'll see what I call trap doors. I can't look at them, they drive me crazy. But on this product, we've done none of that. I just want to show you really quick. We have the same perfect design on the product, but just like that, the top can simply come off. <laughs> and you can still feel and see the beauty of this device. I have a disclaimer, so let me just do that really quick. Don't try that, okay? <laughs> don't do that. Like, don't call me or send me the tweet that says, I tried to rip the top off and now it's broken and it's your fault, so do not do that. There actually is some tools to make that happen, but the point being able to repair and service a product without, without at all impacting any of the beauty of that and the elegance is critical. I think that's pretty cool. Now, I have no illusions about the rest of this device. I'm sure everything in there is soldered together. I'm sure they're not going to be selling me parts and chipsets. And I am fairly certain that if I were to email this gentleman and say, hey, would you happen to have any access to a schematic or a board view if I were willing to pay, you know, $1,000 or $6,000 subscription fee per year as a repair shop to get it? I, I know that even if I were to offer money, most likely I can't get a schematic or board view to that device. So we're not quite at the end of the journey just yet or even close to it. However, this is a step in the right direction, and every time we have a large, major corporation that has influence recognize or acknowledge repair and acknowledging the benefits of repair, that you and just breaking that myth that if you want the device to be repairable, it needs to look like a Panasonic Toughbook or a ThinkPad from 1997, I, th I like seeing that myth being broken because it's something that I've said many times. The things that make these products less repairable have nothing to do with techno technological advancement. As I said in a recent YouTube comment, I'm not against moving from an inverter board to an LED driver chip that's soldered onto the motherboard. That's technological advancement. I'm against when companies make decisions where they're just 
either because they're not recognizing it, they're not putting effort in, or maybe they're just being a dick on purpose, like with locking the SMC firmware down, where you're going out of your way to make it more difficult to repair in a manner that doesn't make it any more beautiful or any better a product to the end consumer. And here, what he's talking about, we're going to make the product more repairable, easier to work on in a way that does not affect the end consumer negatively at all. This is a really cool philosophy. It's a really cool design philosophy. And seeing that seed get planted is really all I'm trying to point out here. I'd like to see seeds like this get planted, watch them grow, spread the seeds, and watch it grow. And have us someday wake up in a world where the devices that we purchase are actually fixable.